A sonata refers to a song that is played as opposed to sung and is divided into three main elements. Exposition where variation of different musical themes are introduced. Next, the development. Here the composer builds on the themes already introduced, narrates further in essence. Finally, is the recapitulation. This element basically brings everything home. I'm bringing all this up because I'm going to tell this story in three parts, like the sonata the exposition, the development, and finally, the recapitulation. If you didn't know any of these words before now, relax. Neither did I. I literally googled all this so I can sound smart and cultured. The truth is, I'm not smart, I don't know anything about music, and I'm definitely not cultured. Now, back to the story. This is a story of either love or tragedy. The choice is yours. Of course, your choice is heavily reliant on what exactly you'd call a tragedy and what love means to you. Anyway, I'm Liz. There's really nothing special about me that would cause you to want to know my story, if you can call it that. But here we are. I am an unemployed graduate, but that isn't unique, cause isn't everyone. And like every unemployed young graduate in this country, I am an online writer. Again, not unique. I don't love it, but it pays rent and feeds me, and frankly, it's the only thing that stands between me and my imminent return to my parents' house in Kakamega. Actually, inevitable return because Nairobi is whooping my a**. Lakini hii online writing in a bow. Na nilianza tu kimchezo ni kia sakendia. Nilifanya procurement. On that stupid notion that every business needs a procurement manager. Sinilijicheza. And now what started as a side hustle in Kikindia is now my bread and butter. Look, I'm not blaming all the bull that happened on this online writing. But all I'm saying is that it's an instigating factor. Because if I wasn't bored out of my mind writing that damn article in the first place, I wouldn't have found myself aimlessly scrolling through Instagram. I would have never have seen his pictures, wouldn't have liked one by mistake, he wouldn't have seen the notification, hence he would have never sent that DM. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, shall we begin? No, is not you dear evil? No, actually, I can't do that. I have more black outfits than any other color. <laughs> yeah, red is also my favorite color, but who wears red every day? Red needs uh, a more serene and poise, you know? <laughs> Talk three hours this morning on both sides of a coin. Back then, when I thought about the long phone calls, the endless conversations, the perfect dates and the chemistry between us. The fire that lit within me when I saw him for the first time and realized, damn, he's even more handsome in person. I thought, this is magical. Do 
would think I know myself well enough when I color in the pictures I tend to ignore the lines oh boy but when you come at the darkest of times you trick me with your smiles trick me with your smiles and thoughts of life we could never have it all stay a while now stay a while now it's time to go out life for anything more of a lie and in the end I always open my eyes I hope I find you hidden amongst the bright lights. But now when I think about those days, what comes to mind is a meme. Yes, a meme. I am a proud Kenyan who relates everything in life to a meme. But I don't want to get into that because how would I even begin to explain it? It's one of those things that you have to see and know the whole backstory to fully grasp it, you know? In short, it's basically me in hindsight thinking that equal worth it. No mse, minga chana tuna yeye. You know what? I've brought it up so it's only fair if I show it to you guys. Behold, the meme. How go serious were you? Imagine this guy. <laughs> Yanni, he wakes up after I've already paid. I love what the idiot says that he have already paid the bill. <laughs> Yanni, if I don't look up, there's a funny I'm talking. If I continue talking to you, I'll get late for my date. Thank you, when I see my date, it's a cause as well. Yanni, me, when I feel neglected. Hi, when I this guy, you're always out with him. When I turn on him, Isaac. Stop pretending like you don't know his name. Anyway, I'm really, really sorry. I'll make time over the weekend. You can come over for a sleepover, maybe. Have drinks, food. Okay, that sounds nice. I, I mean, okay, but this time we're gonna leave her. Ni sawa, aina shida. Sawa. Bye, love you. Bye, love you too. Remember, beautiful people, you get to choose. Is it love? Or is it tragedy? No, wait. This doesn't seem right. We didn't stop here, did we? Just a sec. Here we are. They did. They always say there are signs that even if we choose to ignore them, the signs are always there. Good evening. Can I take your order? Oh, yeah. Um, Fine. He always took his phone calls outside whenever we were together. But that's because the network at my place is terrible. I refuse to believe that I should have seen that and identified it as a sign. It's too far-fetched, right? And look at him. Tall, dark, and handsome. That's the template, right? Okay. And how could I have possibly seen any sign when every time I said, I love you. 
he always responded with, with a wink and everything. Surely, I couldn't have been expected to see it coming. But I guess that doesn't matter now, does it? Because, well, it came all the same. And came again. Yep, we're all caught up now. You know what's funny? How in your heart broken, your mind can't seem to focus on the actions that actually broke your heart. Instead, it drifts off to the things that you loved, the things you miss, like waking up next to him in the morning, lying on his chest, feeling his fingers on your body, his kisses on your neck, His lips. I'm sorry about I'm sorry about what happened. I promise you I'm going to live. I promise. And I love you. Yes, sincerely I love you. His lips. You see, the thing about tragedy is that its beginning is often very similar to love. And because we always expect a certain degree of pain to come with love, tragedy doesn't have much trouble guising itself. So there we are, thinking we're in love, fighting for love, not realizing the shit we've actually fallen into.
mistake. No, uh, uh, just record. 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 Are you embarrassed? I'm really sorry. I, 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 I'm going to change. Keep recording. I'm going to change. I, I, I'm really going to change. And you can't live without me, right? I'm used. I'm used to such words. No, no, no. Take one. Do you know? You just go to hell. Fine. I missed the signs before. But what excuse do I have now? There he is, lying on my bed, after I found out that he's a cheat. Maybe I deserve it. Or maybe I don't. But he definitely does. So, tragedy. Agreed? Calm skies are blue, birds flying higher than the usual. The usual, the usual. Children playing chamama, waki tinginiza, ugali amatope. Everyone is singing songs and happy tunes, saying la 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 la. La, 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 la. Sundays in Nairobi, where traffic is a rumor. If you're with me, say Hakuna Matata. Sundays in Nairobi, I hear them laughing louder. Njotu kule pamoja. Sundays in Nairobi. Where traffic is a rumor If you with me say Hakuna Matata Sundays in Nairobi I hear them laughing louder Njotu kule pamoja Inu kazi mama Njotu kule pamoja Inu kazi mama Njotu kule pamoja Kasi mama Njotu kule pamoja Na wenu kasi mama Pamoja inu kasi mama Pamoja inu kasi mama Pamoja inu kasi mama Pamoja inuka simama. <laughs> 